gentlemen, Great Taz here once again with another replay from the World of Tanks. And before we get too far into this replay, I want to say something. This is Frontlines. And uh, with that being said, um, this video can be anywhere from a minimum of 12 minutes to as long as up to 30 minutes. All right, so I first apologize for the length. Secondly, you will see multiple tanks and multiple ways to play, and I'm going to give you quite a bit of information. And I hope you do stick around to actually learn a little bit about this, especially if this is your first time ever hearing about Frontlines. Now, yes, there are quite a few people out there streaming it. Got it. I'm not a streamer. I would love to be a streamer. I just can't compete. I just can't do it because of my internet connection. So I have to stick with... St sticking on YouTube and making videos of replays. With that also being said, what replays and what records do not handle this type of replay well. So it will not give full information, but I will show you at the end of the video what each one shows. All right, with that, let's get on with this battle. I am starting my battle in my T-34. I am a defender on the a D line. I am in a platoon with two of my clan mates. Uh, as you can see them on the left, that's the only time you're going to see anything on your windows when you're in front line is when you actually. Um, we're going to switch uh, some graphics around here to colorblind mode so my colorblind viewers don't have to worry. I mean, the only thing that's going to stay red is going to be that dotted line on the bottom. Uh, actually, the boxes will turn red too. Don't worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. If the box changes color, that just means the enemy has taken it. With that being said, let's move on to this. As you can see in my T-34, I am moving up this hill. And we're going to move this up a little bit, speed this up, so it doesn't take quite 30 minutes. And you're not sitting here going, oh my god, is this thing ever going to be over? Is this video ever going to be over? Will he shut up? Well, one, I probably won't shut up. And two, yes, this video will be over. As you can see, we climb up the hill. And we're trying to get a good shot in on this FV-4202, who is down in the crap circle. But, of course, this uh, 1.30 uh, p.m. here just wants to keep getting in the stinking way. Twice we've had lined up shots on him. Twice we couldn't take it because this 1.30 decides he's going to back up into our line of sight, unfortunately. All right. <clears throat> now, we have a lot up here in front of us. We want to start stopping ignoring it like I was doing. Um and start dealing with this ridge. On the AD line, this ridge and the opposite ridge are very important. It gives you great advantage on a lot of things. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is not looking like it's going to be very beneficial for me. And um, stuff like that. So, as you can see, I'm dead. Now, this is the nice thing. You get to respawn with any of your tier 8s. The problem with that is, is if your tier 8 does not have a crew, you won't be able to play it. If it's not loaded with ammo, oh yeah, you can play it, but you're going to run out there with no ammo. And if you don't have your consumables or anything else on it, you're going to be a little SOL. Sorry, that's the way it's going to be. You can't change it once you're in the battle. All right, as you can see here, um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, jump into Progetto because the, the auto-loading and auto reloading tanks like this are really good and uh, when it comes to uh, as an attacker you really want to do the opposite of what my team is doing right now you want to be aggressive especially on the a line you want to get in there and you want to take them off all right the a line has a lot of rocks you'll see this in a moment um, has a lot of rocks that the uh, attackers can hide behind B has uh, some buildings and C has one big bunker, and that's really about it. Some smaller buildings, um, but it's it's up a hill from all all sides, except for one, which there's a hill you can, a hill ridge you can get onto. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, we're not. I'm not playing like a chicken. I'm running in here, and I'm getting shots on these tanks. I'm trying to get them killed. Because that's the only way to reset cap points is to get the kill. When you damage someone, you will stop their cap ability to cap for five seconds. All right, you you won't reset the cap points. That's the difference between random battles 
regular gameplay and front lines. Okay, one difference. Another difference is, is you get re, you get to respawn tanks, which is pretty cool. So you can play a bunch of tier eights. Uh, and another thing about this, it's tier eights only. As you can see here, I'm trying to take these guys off the ridge. All right, there's the T44 FL. Um, front lines only. Uh, so it's not a bad tank. Um, to be able to get in here there are some tanks this time around there are some tanks that you can go ahead and go out and rent and uh you know have them for later uh and so you can have if you don't have a few uh um tier eights and you're starting and you want to play um the best way to really go about this would be if you want to play front lines go ahead and uh go out Spend some money, get some gold. I hate to say this. I hate giving war gaming money. Um, even though I do it all the time. I hate boasting their pay to win type of attitude. But you can there's a bunch of tier eights right now that are on sale. Tier eight premiums. And you can get some gold to gold um that you can rent some uh tier eights. So as you can see here, we're uh, low on ammo. We're gonna back off again with the Pajetta we got I don't know what the heck's going on with my uh, my thing down here in the bottom, but it's only showing two things. It's kind of weird. Um, I know that's absolutely wrong, but we're going to go with it. Um, it might just be a minor glitch in the replay, um, but I do have consumables on this tank, so don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm just not sure where they're at right now. Um, as you can see, I'm going to try to shoot the, uh, the T26 E4. No one is... No one's getting out there. Now, this... 50 TP prototype, he's seriously what he should be doing at this point in time is with as little hit points as he has, he should be taking his happy behind and going repairing. Now, this does take time, of course, but it's probably would have been his best bet. I mean, if he's just going to sit there and do nothing, he would have been better off to go actually and thinking, you know, oh, we lost C. It would have been go repair so your full life so you could push back in there. No one's again pushing into the cap circle, and that's big part of the problem. All right, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in here just like this. If they're capping, you gotta get in there and start hitting them. As, as, okay, we reset the we reset. We saved A again. We defended A. Now we gotta get out of here. Stinking tanks on the hill. Um, we're gonna go. And actually, now at this point in time, with seeing what's going on, I'm pinging and letting people, hey, there's guys on that ridge. Can you get them off that ridge? Is what I'm trying to tell them. We're gonna we're so low in hit points, and A is now completely cleared out. There's no one in the cap circle. We're gonna go repair. Because one shot and I'm dead. With getting repaired, I'm going to be able to get everything back. All my ammo. Hey, look, everything came back. Uh, what do you know? You reset all your countdowns except for your reserves for the get uh, for the mode. You reset them all, and you get repaired, and you uh you repair your all your crew, all your modules, get rearmed, and turn off all your cooldowns to your consumables. So that's what I did, and now we're gonna go over here and get this ridge since no one on the ridge is kind of pushing. Now my platoon mate up there in the T28 kind of is the rev is hiding behind him which is not a bad thing considering the t28 does have a lot more armor but that m4190 should be up there and uh help and pound those guys but he's not they're more worried about shooting across the field all right as you can see here we're still holding on to a and b and we're going to speed this up again someone let off a smoke bomb now the the in battle consumables, there are four of those, six of those um, reserves. Uh, one is called Inspire, which I you see, and I have this tank under number seven. One is an artillery barrage. Um, one is a, a bombing run. Then you have smoke screen, which you saw what we had coming up over the hill, and then engineering. Engineering is almost the least used. Um, and it it's really good um but it's not the best um what it allows you to do is capture uh bases quicker um repair quicker um and, and the repaired repair zones uh,
countdown or cooldown to go down quicker. Um, and and uh, that's really it. Um, so, I mean, there, there has four points, but those are the four points. And the cooldown on it, of course, everything has a cooldown. And the higher level you get, the, the better your cooldown. Not sure where my platoon mate went. I think he might have died. Um, <laughs> freaking Frank. Freaking Frank was not having the greatest luck. Every time he turned around, he seemed to be, like, dead. Um, <clears throat> here, we're trying to keep them from coming up the ridge and taking the ridge from us. Um, I'm getting zero assistance from this Rev, M4 Rev. And uh, we, now we also have them shooting from us from the the middle so we're trying to hold them from getting the advantage piece of this area now we're going to charge down in here because we need to do something um as you can see there it's not going to turn out the way i want um i'm gonna because i missed my first shot i'm going to be a little l sol and um at this point and that bounce that just screwed everything so the wz is going to take us out and that's no big deal um, we did do a lot of damage right there in that ridge, and we did keep them off of it. Um, and you see me, as you see in the chat, I'm bitching at the team. Uh, I'm not bitching at my platoon mates, because they just got up there. My biggest bitch is that M441 that's been sitting there, more worried about shooting across, um, in the bottom, and then instead of holding them off the ridge, like everyone else is. As you can see, we got a Defender and an SU-130 PM hugging the red line. And you're going to see here, what is this red line? This red line is uh, the basic attacker's spawn start point. Um, and uh, you, you can go back there, but you're going to take damage. Uh, it, it's designed that way so you can get back there and camp and spawn camp and kill them um, as they're spawning. Um, that was a big issue in the last one. I'm not 100% sure they completely fixed that. And uh, I would have hoped they would have done a better job, but... It doesn't look like they have really an honesty. Oh, look at the Centurion one coming out of the Pajetto. Not going to be able to save the Pajetto, but we can put a hurting on this. Uh, no, maybe not. Uh, now, there are, you can play Artie in this battle, but there's only three Artie per team, one per lane. Um, uh, and you can fire from like A to B and C to B or B to A and C, but you can't fire from A to C. Um, there is just too too far of a range and already only has roughly a grid and a half um, range in this game and so y you have that to deal with now here's science sage uh, coming around the corner taking a shot um, as you can see we got a town down camera going here if it, uh, uh, the attacking team takes a zone and you're in it when that comes When that goes off, you are going to take damage. Um, they have bombers that come through, as you can see here. See them coming through. They're not going to bomb anything because there's nothing to bomb. Um, as I was back behind the line, and I made sure to be back behind the line. Um, and really that. Uh, as you can see here, I'm still trying to defend around this rock. Uh, so that, you know, they can't get by me. Now I have two people behind me. I have four people behind me, just not really, they'd rather sit back and defend than actually be up here in the front where they can actually be able to do some damage and actually be able to hold up the, the attacker's um, push. Um, but no, they want to uh, hide and uh, stuff. As you can see, the lows back there, full life. The 4202 is half life. You know, the 59s are full life, T32 is full life. They're not really um, <clears throat> fighting in the front. Now, the T32 is coming forward, but the T59, the Type 59, is still not coming forward and, and still playing very pensified. Um, as an attacker, you really can't. Even as a, as, as a defender, you really can't. And as an attacker, you can't really either because you're on a time limit. Uh, no. Each zone, when it's captured by the attacker, they get two more minutes. The last zone gives them four instead of two, so they get an extra two minutes. <clears throat> As you can see here, 
I am trying to hold them back. I'm, I am slowly taking damage and uh, really getting shot at from multiple sides. There, there is a uh, bombing run from someone. Not sure who it was. They did hit me. Um, and I do realize that I'm really not probably going to get out of this zone area. Um, but here they got two five ones. Going to shoot at the second one because <clears throat> it is the uh, more dangerous one. It has more hit points. And they both try to shoot me, and it doesn't do them any good. And we're going to sit here and fight this 2065 and this T69. Um, again, I don't think I'm going to get far because I'm slow. So, and they just took A, so now <clears throat> they got another two minutes on the clock. As you can see here, the F line says there's a limit. The maximum players that can be on a line is 12 and be able to spawn there. Um, 12, if there's 12 or more on a line, you can't spawn there. So... As you can see, I can only spawn on the D or E line. And we're going to pick our tank here in a second. And uh, figure out what we want to do. Some tanks are very useless in this mode because it's a lot of hills and ridges and stuff like that. So, Alright, we picked the uh, Centurion for its good turret armor. And we're going to head on down to the battle again. We got pushed back because of the allies. As you can see here on the mini-map, we're spotted. Not sure where, and then he makes the mistake of letting me know where. So we turn around, and we're going to show him why he made a mistake. First off, he made the mistake by, yeah... Um, thinking that he was going to be able to use the cap circle. Now, if you're in the ca uh, the repair circle, if you're in the repair circle and you get shot while you're in the repair circle, your repair stops completely at the point you were at when you got hit. You lose that if you got one click of damage back and you lose that one click of damage and you just wasted your time. Um, uh, and you don't get everything back fully until you're 100%. So if you're almost out of ammo... And, ooh, look, General. Um, and, uh, 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 General, yay. Um, anyway, I right, was the game. Freaking Frank is still having a bad day. He doesn't have a kill. Uh, Harley has six kills, and I have four. But I've stayed alive a long time. Um, rushing around and shooting stuff with my Progetto. And so... I've got quite a bit of damage. Uh, this doesn't show your damage, but under your tab key, you can look at your front. Where is my mouse? There it is. And then all fronts. And you can see here, um, I am on the top of the list because I'm the first general. Woo, wow. <laughs> I earned general, ladies and gentlemen. I was the first one of everybody to earn general. Yeah, I didn't even know that. that that's a... Uh, Kind of a news event to me. Here we're kind of holding them. Now you see this overtime. That's because the uh, attacking team was in a cap circle. When the time ran out, they get another minute 30. That's again, like I said, this game can go anywhere from 12 minutes all the way up to probably 30 minutes. I've not figured it exactly out um, to, to tell you the honest truth. Uh, but it can be a long, long battle. Um, but it's fun, and it is quite uh, honestly different um, than other ones. As you can see here, I'm continuing to use my turret's armor to help uh, keep those at bay. I'm going to try to take a shot at the 26, but I don't get a shot at him because he's taken out before I am. And a spire's up and ready to go. We got our FV over here to open us out, uh, and we're just holding him right here. There's Artie once again. Uh, I'm trying to get people to get over to D to get them, the the uh, enemy out of D. There we get a good shot into the tracks of the RHM and into the hall. And, of course, no one takes a shot at him. So there's the RHM. We're going to come around this corner and we're going to make this IS-3A evaporate. And here we go. We're going to continue pushing on. RHM's done. There's stinking Artie again, the FV. Um, 207, 
Now, if you're a light tank, you aren't maybe wondering um, if you've never played this mode, can I go back down into the zones that are solid red? Yes, you can go back down into the zones that are solid red. It just means they control it. Um, and you won't want to really try to do that with anything that's really slow. So uh, a fast light tank might be able to. You might be able to go already hunting that way um, and then cause some havoc by getting in the backsides of some tanks. So that is what it is. And uh, I, you, you can do that. Um, here, we're going to move back because the FV4202 started to move, pull back. So we're going to pull back also um, into more defensive positions. Um, we're spotted again. Not sure by what. Nothing had view range by what it looks like. So some of the spotting is goofed up on this. I've been spotted. By, I've been behind a building. And the whole team was, their whole enemy team was outside my draw range. And I, I know for a fact, and I still got spotted. So it, it, it's some of the spotting and the mechanics in this thing is um, <clears throat> all right. Here we're gonna back back up this hill, uh, and, and we got a couple enemies coming along. We're gonna try to slow them down some more. I'm gonna take some shots into them. Unfortunately, the the Centurion one is not a lot of damage. Now, I'm taking the shots into the backsides. If you're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it because that's where your weakest armor is. There is Scorpion G tries to shoot us. We're back down to try to keep so they can't shoot our hall. Um, we don't want to show our hall as, and show our turret as little as possible. Here we are showing our turret, and the Scorpion G actually gets a good shot into our turret. Now, we wouldn't have survived much longer because we have two other tanks coming behind us. Four other tanks coming behind us, so it, it was a matter of time before we were dead by being shot in the rear. As you can see, there's a great line of blue across here uh, of the enemy, and they're just kind of swarming from D into E, and they're trying to capture it. <sighs> As you can see, people are pinging into F, telling everyone that they need to kind of uh, get them out of F. I spawned in F to try to help. <clears throat> Uh, because I didn't want to spawn an E. I should have probably spawned an E. That was probably a bad move on my side. That way I could have helped with E right away. Because F seemed to be... I didn't know if F could handle it. Uh, I didn't have faith in my team. At that point. I, I, I Competitive. I like to win this battles, these battles uh, a lot. So I do my best. They got... 37, 27, 25 seconds left of overtime. Uh, and we're going to speed this up because fast, because I ain't going to be doing anything. Um, we lost E, and then I'm heading back over to F. And, and I look at what's on F, and I figure that they can handle it, so I'm not overly worried about it. This, I'm going to get through this as much as is possible. As you can see, I didn't get the bombers run on me because I wasn't there. <clears throat> I am spotted again by something, not quite sure. Like I said, the spotting mechanics in this is kind of a little wonky because you can really never tell what's spotting you. Um, nothing was in the view range except for that meadow, and I wasn't even in his line of sight. So here we're going to chase this Vegetto down because at this point, as long as my team can keep him at an F, there's no way that they can destroy three of the final objectives in 24 seconds in 20, less than 20 seconds. Make that 15 now. As I keep talking, it keeps going down. All right. But this is a great example of how you can win the battle as an attacker. Be forceful. Be, I, I mean, a defender. Be an attacker. Do not hide. Get into them. Shoot them. And as you can see here, um, I'm top in my zone. And we did have two other people actually make general on my team but i was the first and uh, i can tell you i had the most experience um from the battle at the point um so i created general the army now like i said um what replays and um what records do not have a good listing now this is um what records here as you can tell see it gives you my w and eight which is good but it shows only one of the tanks that i played um and it shows you who killed me 
uh, when I was playing that tank, it does not show you all the tanks that I was playing. Um, it shows you the overall team score, but that shows you for only one tank. This does not show you all the experience that I got. Uh, and the details here are us for only one tank. All right. And uh, what the heck? Not sure, but look, I'll go do this real quick. And <clears throat> go to my links. And as you can see here, here is uh, what replays, and this is what they show. They show you your first tank you were in, uh, show you how you did in that first tank. All right, I mean, this is definitely. Um, says that I wasn't top experienced, but it, it only shows one tank. It doesn't show everything. And I don't have really any other way of showing how I did. You just have to take a lot of word for it that, ah, uh, yeah, I was first, and then I was also of the army. So, again, I would like to apologize for the length of this video. It's getting around 27 minutes, uh, 26 minutes at me speaking right now probably be 27 minutes by the time I'm done. Sorry for the length. I do hope you really like the video. I mean, it is a good um, uh, mode. And if you got more questions, please go ahead and um, ask in the comments or questions below. Uh, and ask anything you want to know. Uh, I will answer them, all questions, to the best of my knowledge. And, and let you know. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Frontlines is here until... Oh, what is it? Sunday. Sunday's the last day of this week. Uh, this started Monday, and then it'll be again back in March. Uh, it's going to be February to March. Uh, there's 10 levels, so your best bet's to try to get as many levels as quickly as possible. Um, uh, get up to 30, and then refresh as quickly as possible, and um, enjoy. Enjoy while you can. There's a lot of great rewards and stuff uh, by playing this mode. So go out and play them and use them. Uh, with that all being said, I'm going to get out of here. This is Great Tez signing off. Now, the end portion. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video and think it deserve it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you're not a subscriber, please take a moment and subscribe. Um, and click the bell notification if you want to get instant notifications about upcoming uh, uh, new videos and replays that are on there. Um, with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen... I am signing off. This is Great Taz wishing you a great day and great games and hopefully good wins in front lines.